America is one of my new subscribers named J.M. Riccatelli wanted me to talk about how automation is going to replace most workers in society today. While this point is true, I need to address the bigger elephant in the room because there's a 50% chance that we will go to war with Iran. This elephant that I'm talking about is why America is the world police. America is the world police because America is broke. Okay? Allow me to expand this concept further. Since America went away from the gold standard with the new economic policy of 1971, also known as the Nixon shock, Richard Nixon wanted to quote unquote create a new prosperity without war, which for all intents and purposes meant that the U.S. dollar as a currency would no longer be tied to gold, or any natural resource for that matter, as a store of value. For you dumb motherfuckers that didn't take an economics class before in your life, currency has three functions. A unit of account, a store of value, and a medium of exchange. Now, I'm not going to go into detail of describing these functions, just Google that shit. But I brought this up to set the premise for this video and my argument. When we went away from pegging the dollar to gold and making the dollar a true fiat currency, the purpose of the dollar was eliminated. Why? Because it took away the store of value as one of the functions of the dollar. OK, don't get me wrong. The dollar is still a unit of account and a medium of exchange. However, the dollar is not a store of value, hence the word fiat. OK. Now, what does that do? Well, now that the purpose of the dollar as a store of value is eliminated, you can not inflate it like a balloon, which is exactly what the Federal Reserve System at the direction of the U.S. government, did. Why? Why did America do this? Answer, too much population growth. That's why. Answer, too much expansion. That's why. Answer, too much manifest destiny. That's why. American greed. American greed. American greed is why the dollar is useless in 2019. American greed is why each person, also known as per capita, is around $65,000 in debt in 2019. When the parents, also known as the government and the corporations, don't discipline the children, also known as the citizens of the nation, the children throw stones at the glass house. In other words, the people only did what the government and the corporations allowed the people to do. Spend, spend, and spend again. This is the nature of a finance economy. The economy that cannot survive if it can't spend. The opposite of this is a production economy, which is the economy that cannot survive if it can't produce. Now, I'm not the first one to bring up the idea of the finance economy versus the production economy. I have to give credit to Peter Schiff for that. However, it's leading to this point. The purpose of war, the purpose of conflicts, the purpose of the U.S. being the world police is because the U.S. is broke. All right. War is the government's last line of defense against insolvency. I'm going to say that again because you niggas don't hear me. War is the U.S. government's last line of defense against insolvency. Where's my evidence? Where's your proof, Lord Overlay? Well, if you want it, you got it. The U.S. is about to go into recession again. All of the indicators point to this. What is the primary indicator of the brink of recession? Answer, too much volatility and not enough trending up. 
That's how. Think of it like someone that lives paycheck to paycheck. When it's payday, they're the king. They can buy all the stuff they want, go on trips, do whatever the fuck they want. But by the end of that same week leading into the next week, they're broke. They got to stay home. And sometimes they can't even work because they can't afford to put gas in their car. That's volatility. Okay? That's volatility. Volatility is behavior that follows no set pattern. It's unreliable. Now, where does volatility come from? Having shit you didn't earn. Okay? When you are the beneficiary of assets you didn't work for, your natural inclination is to spend it. Can a nigga preach? I'm getting at y'all niggas today. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Now, like I said, America is broke. Donald Trump knows this. However, to cover his fuck ups, he has to say that the stock market is great. Now, remember what I said about volatility and the paycheck to paycheck example. Now, if a person spent their survival money on stocks because they want to get in on the action, but then realize that because of the volatility of the market, they're losing money, they're going to pull out. They're going to sell their shares. Once again, they didn't earn. They didn't make money. So they're going to sell. This is what speculation is. Speculation is the buying and selling of stocks because you're fucking stupid, okay? The only people that really benefit from stocks are the people that play the long game, not buy and sell, okay? That speculative behavior is why America is broke. We spend on things that lose us money, and then we complain about how we don't have money. That's the first thing that makes America broke. The second thing that makes America broke is gynocentrism. Once again, people, and specifically women, spending money that they didn't fucking earn. Okay? No amount of handbags, no amount of purses, no amount of high heel shoes, and pets, and pet products is going to unfuck your uncollectible accounts. Can you feel me? Can you feel a nigga on this shit right here? So we have speculative spending. We have woman spending. The third reason why America is broke is we have a federal reserve system that is encroaching on savers assets through inflation. Inflation is theft to savers. That's the true invisible hand that takes away from those that are fiscally responsible. We also have a government that taxes its people up the ass. This is another form of theft to fiscally responsible people. Okay? And what does the government and the Federal Reserve System do with the tax money and the inflation money that it stole from its savers and its laborers? They give it ceremoniously to illegal immigrants and people that choose not to work. Okay? Welfare. The word is called welfare. America is broke also because of welfare. Giving subsidies to people that didn't earn a goddamn thing. You understand me? You understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Now you feel me when I say hashtag put politicians on minimum wage and hashtag end the Fed. Let me recap for you. Speculative spending, woman spending, inflation caused by the Fed, and taxes by the government is why America is broke. Now the last factor 
And the reason why our GDP is overstated is due to this. I hear a lot of people complain about the 1% wealthy because they have multi-millions and even billions of dollars. But no one talks about how they got there. These 1% wealthy people didn't get their wealth because they were geniuses. They got their wealth because of production processes and timing. The ability to replicate a good idea over and over and over again until you can monetize it and make a thriving business. That's good business. That's good economics. However, comma, bad business is in the recycling of original ideas for profit. This is also known as innovation. Okay? When companies or content creators or any entity for that matter steals the ideas of original creators or inventors for the express purpose of making profit, that's what leads to a stagnant economy. Why? The demand for unoriginal ideas decreases exponentially over time. When people make gimmicks out of original thoughts or ideas, guess what? The well runs dry. No one wants that product or service anymore because you unoriginal pieces of shit cheapened the product or service for profits. This is what kills economies. Innovation. Can a nigga preach? God damn it, I'm all one to death. To end the video, I'm going to recap once again. Speculative spending by people living paycheck to paycheck. Woman's spending. Inflation caused by the Fed. Taxes by the government. And innovation is why America is broke. With all that being said, the government has no choice but to be bullies and try to go to war with Iran. All for oil. Because you dumb motherfuckers put these politicians there. You put them in office. You put the politicians in office. You also spend all of your shit. You also want welfare. Finance economy. Debt driven economies are doomed for the dark ages just like rome in 500 a.d to 1000 a.d it happened before and it's going to happen again welfare brings warfare lord overlay